right. Um, yeah, you said you wanted a bit of a tour of the van, so I thought I'd just uh, give you a bit of a tour. You'll have to excuse uh, the mud on everything. Um, it hasn't had to wash in a little while, but obviously if you came in and had a look at it, then I'd uh, give it a good wash. Um, right, so this is the van. Um, yeah, obviously you've seen the uh, eBay advert, so you know quite a bit about it. Um, uh, but I'll just uh, point out a few key things and a few little uh, blemishes and things. So exterior, it's uh, pretty good. The exterior, obviously, it's only five years old, so um, it's not got, it's not too dinged or whatever. Um, all the trim is in good condition. Um, all the edges there. Um, I see that's. Uh, wing mirrors are all intact um, in terms of dings there's a few just around here there's just a little bit of paint flaking away but the um, body's galvanized so uh, it shouldn't rust it's just I don't know why but here the paint just is flaking away but it's only minor little things can be touched up with a touch-up pen if you're um, concerned um, on this side it's pretty good, there's a few little um, dents and things just there. On the back here there's a couple uh, up there, small uh, dents essentially. Um, oh, about around this side there's a, li there's a little bit of a scrape there. Um, all the wheels are in good condition. Um, yeah, that's the majority of them. There's another little one there. So, yeah, other than those, there's nothing major. No major things or anything. Um, all the lights are good. And all the, like, bumper and everything like that. It's a small crack in the number plate there. Um, so then, yeah, moving on to the inside. The inside's uh, pretty perfect. Um, terms of there's a few obviously I said in the advert I've lived in it for the past year so um, there's a little bit of wear and tear but it's mainly good I mean on the corner there there's a little bit of wear of the countertop um, there's a little bit of, sort of staining or whatever around the um, water filler point so that's so I'll just talk you through now how the van works so that's the water fill up point there so you just put a hose onto that and then you have to open this tap just in there um, to basically open to switch it from drawing water from the tank to putting water into the tank and then you just turn that back on and then the uh, and then you can resume just using the tap as normal if the tap uh, sorry if the water pump um if it runs out of water then you can just turn it off with uh, one of these switches here this um that one does the water pump this one does under counter lighting um so when you're cooking and stuff it like gives you and basically makes it feel more spacious um and allows you to utilize the full kitchen area um, I'll turn all the lights on actually so you can get a good feel for what it's like in here um, I'll just uh, shut the door so that's the inside of the door there uh, I don't think the pictures show that actually um, so and this is sort of like the blackout blind on there so it just it magnets onto the bottom rail there um, so that does it magnets but it doesn't quite stay in position so it's just a little quirk of the van um so yeah that's uh but that pretty much fully blocks out the light so also no light can get out either so people don't really know you're in here um one of the nice things about the van is that it's got one well, it's got a lot of sound insulation but it's also got a lot of insulation so uh, it's um pretty quiet in here and also you can't hear that much of the outside street light uh, street light sound as well if you're parked up in an urban area I'll just put you down while I just uh, 
So this is the cooker, it's a two burner gas hob and you just turn it on there. Um, it's the electronic ignition doesn't work unless you have the voltage, uh, the inverter on. So I just use uh, one of these little uh, fire, like candle lighter things, electric, and that works really well. Um, so yeah, these are the different colours. I have this one for... Oh so these uh, cupboards, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of cupboard storage space in the van. Um, there's also cupboard space up under here, uh, and that basically utilises space above the cab. Uh, you can... Um, yeah, store. it's all carpet lined up there. I'll show you actually. Um, so it's just these two bolts here. And then this just comes down and it's got this little light in it there so you can properly see what you're doing. The Wi Fi router is up there as well. Um, and that's linked to the aerial on the roof and gives you. Uh, like 4G in the van uh, yeah so it's basically like a Wi-Fi router but also it can it also uh, has like GPS location there's like an antenna on the roof for that as well so it's uh, allows you to keep track of where the van is which is quite good um, all right. so all the cupboards as well have uh, auto on light so that sensor there all these cupboards along here all have that sensor in them so and that's really great because you can see exactly what's in the cupboards um makes it really easy and then when you turn shut that it turns off within about 10 seconds um in terms of dish drainer i can't recommend this enough it's uh, a joseph joseph uh dish drainer but what's really great about it is it's got this spout here so i can have it off to the side and then it just drains into the sink and also it's got rubber feet on it so it doesn't really slide around and uh, I've forgotten that I had plates on there and driven and they haven't come out which is quite quite remarkable so these also these like pins really help secure things on there so that's really useful it's also got a cutlery holder as well um, this is the controls for the heating it's quite standard Propex heating uh, it's just got a adjustable um, temperature dial that you just turn up and down. When I'm not in the van, I just leave it down like that. So then I don't know what temperature it maintains in here. Probably about 12 degrees or something like that. Um, and it just cuts in and out. Doesn't use much gas. <clears throat> I typically get in the winter, if I'm living in it, I get about two weeks um worth of see it just shut off there i get about two weeks of uh like time before i've got to refill the gas um so that yeah lasts quite a long time so i'll just talk you through the control panel here um we got usb socket here this one here i don't use it it was a little bit of a idea that i didn't end up using but it's like a hdmi socket which runs up into one of these cupboards here uh, so you might be able to utilize that if you want um then we've got this is the charge controller for the solar so uh, that just comes on when it's sunny it's not very sunny today so there's nothing really that it's getting from the solar um, and this is like a battery monitor so that just uh, tells you essentially how full the battery is and then uh, give you the voltage and things like that so it's just handy to be able to see how much battery you've got left and things this is the gas uh, level monitor so you just push this button here and then it will you just got to wait a little bit as it sort of like works out the level of gas but after a while it will stop and then you know how much gas you've got left um, and then these are all the light switches that controls an extractor fan in the rear 
um, area which I use sometimes for drying out clothes or whatever so you can hang them up in there and then but it is slightly noisy so it's better to put that off when you're not going to be in the van but it's not too noisy um, and then these just control the different all the different lights so that's for all the bedroom area that's for like what I call the dining area so that's right above us now and then this that's for the main uh, kitchen area um, I was yeah you asked about this fan right now again it's got dirty um, I'll give it a clean uh, if you come and have a look at it um, but essentially yeah that's what it is it gets grease from cooking on it just like your extractor fan in the kitchen and then dust sticks to it and that happens fairly quickly so it's a bit frustrating that but I think it's just a reality of living in a van unfortunately because this does all your extracting but yeah it's very important like I have it on most of the time it's quite quiet uh, running uh, when it's going and then you can if you want uh, have it temperature controlled so that when it gets to a certain temperature it actually it cuts out um, uh, yeah so but it's been a good uh, fan for controlling the moisture in here so yeah basically you have to run that most of the time to uh, keep the moisture levels down I think that's just the reality so this is the toilet situation um got this handy drawer i usually keep toilet paper and things like that in there and then this is the um chemical toilet and that just comes out on runners and then like that's strong enough to sit on i think they're rated for over 80 kilos or something like that so uh, uh, you can just sit on that no problem um yeah, so that's a very handy thing to have in the van. Um, got a little shoe holder here. And you've got these three uh, drawers under here. Um, I usually, I just keep like pens and things like that in there. Uh, and then this is the table. So that just drops down like that. And then you can just lift these two levers. I can't do it with one hand, but you can lift these two levers and then uh, just pull it out and then it folds out and then it just folds away nice and neat um, yeah in terms of bed area these fans I don't use them often but when it was really hot in summer uh, I wouldn't have been able to live without them and it's quite amazing actually because on a really hot day you can pop them on on sort of low uh, and just have them like on you and uh, it completely cools the whole uh, like allows you to sleep in the real heat and actually it was quite comfortable sleeping with those on so um, that bottle holder at the back is uh, really handy I either have a water bottle there or that's my Bluetooth speaker on there and I just uh, yeah it's really handy to have I wish I had another one actually uh, so I could have both up at once um, and then just got two reading lights here there's the felt um, like siding so that's quite comfortable to lean up against um, and then on this little shelf here this little shelf's pretty handy and also it's got a bluetooth phone charger so that's good and another charger here as well if uh, you need it so um that's this side of the van i think underneath here it's got the um sort of like storage uh box like this lockable so it's quite big actually uh, and then under here uh, under that seat there's extra storage and uh the fuse panel as well which but I've ne I haven't had any electrics go wrong so and then in here that box there houses all the wires and everything for the 
uh, switches and the control panel but there is the water heater the instant water heater um, and then that's the heater there I have just this little Makita Hoover which is really handy for uh, just hoovering the floor and um, because because it's such a small space you do have to hoover most days um, but it, it literally takes less than a minute and then under here that's obviously the water pump that's the accumulator there uh, and then I've got hose to fill up and then that's the fridge as well there that's the Dometic uh, fridge and you just access it I've got this little hook here so that just hooks in place and then that's the uh, fridge I'm not using it at the minute so I've just set it to a quite a high temperature um, and yeah it's just a top loading fridge uh, it fits a fair amount of stuff like you can fit a like a bottle of milk or a two litre um, bottle of like fizzy stuff um, there is oh this is the bathroom cabinet as well um, so and that just pops like that and just opens up um, yeah that's very handy so there is uh, one quirk to talk about it's pretty much one of the only quirks of the van and that is it, that the hot water the hot water works brilliantly but um, because of the way the instant hot water heater works it's quite a simple setup and uh, it's it's basically like an outdoor shower so it's not designed with turning the tap on then turning it off turning it on again um so what happens is the water comes through it's heated you get hot water lovely but then you turn it off and that water then sits in the water heater and the flame doesn't turn off instantly so that water gets very hot so you, so long as you're aware of that uh it's not too much of a problem i've never found it a massive problem but um it, yeah it's, you just have to be aware of it the other thing is that because the flue on the water heater um the fan is obviously drawing air through the van and one of the places it brings it down is through the flue and that blows the flame out on the water heater so if you're going to use the water heat uh, hot water you just turn the uh, fan off while you're doing that um again both things are absolutely like bearable um when you are aware of them and you just get used to it but um yeah they're just things that were a little bit of a oversight um when i was building the van um so I think we'll head to the back now. I think I've showed you. Oh, also, um, I installed a lot of different alarms. So that's a carbon monoxide alarm there. That's a temperature and humidity uh, gauge. It's just run out of battery, so I need to put new batteries in that. Um, that's an LPG alarm down there. And that's another carbon monoxide detector. And then this little thing here is a fire alarm. So it's got the safety pretty much covered in there. Oh, and there's also um, a fire extinguisher in there. Um, right, so yeah, I think we'll just head to the back. Oh, I'll show you this as well. This is um, the uh, like larder drawer, and that's pretty handy um uh, yeah just can keep all your spices condiments and then some uh cans and things like that in there i thought i'd actually show you before we went the uh, actually all these uh uh cupboards have catches on them here so not these ones so i did a catch on this one here because that's got the microwave in it so that's the microwave there um, and that works absolutely fine with the inverter you have to 
for the microwave to work because the way the voltage drops you have to have the battery uh, at above 60 percent i think for the microwave to work um and then so this has got a catch on it as well because that's all your cutlery and every, uh, sorry your crockery and things so you don't want that falling out in here it's just got a small uh cupboard there and that's some usb uh points there so my idea was i think that's got the hdmi lead as well in it my idea was that i was gonna have some like technology and things in there but it didn't work out and i didn't really need it uh, and then this is your clothes storage so you got three different compartments for your clothes and things obviously you can keep clothes as well in other places so this is another thing um along here this is how it's finished on the edge it's quite a difficult place to finish so um but this which, because the sort of bulkhead slants like that, um, there was this storage space behind there. So um, it's got this handy dandy uh, extendable ladder in there. And that, I'll include that with the sail. Um, and it's got this neoprene backed magnetic mat that you slap against the side of the van and then you can lean the ladder against it without scratching it. And that's just so you can get up and check the solar panels and clean them and things like that or if you need to get on the roof for any reason so this is the back of the van um, so I'll just talk you through the features of it I'm very uh, pleased with the way this turned out and it does really give you much more of a utility area at the back of the van especially if you're going to be outdoors uh, and things it properly opens up a new avenue for you um in terms of like you know storing your kit and drying out your kit and things so in here there's like a big storage tub there uh just for storing like random things that you've got that's the shower curtain which magnets on with these magnets so that you know you get a bit of privacy when you're showering um this funnel as well was pretty handy for like filling the uh, screen wash and things like that um, so these are the big drawers here and they just latch with these little turn latches and then I've got these DeWalt uh, cases that fit in them quite nicely I used to have two so um, and yeah they just slide I'm pretty sure these are rated to 80 kilos each um, and then there's some shoe storage here, three different levels, pretty handy for sure, uh, storing your boots and things like that. It's got two levels of lights up here. Firstly, it's got um, it's got the little ceiling ones, so when you want to be a bit discreet, just get a little bit, little bit of light in here. But if you're properly looking for something, then you can turn these super bright floodlights on. Um, this is just an extra little uh storage cupboard up there that's a retractable clothesline for drying your washing or whatever and just a first aid kit there so easy to grab um little folding camping chair there and then three hooks there that you can hang your different clothes on and things like that and um, they do get a little bit in the way of these but you can just take them down when you need to look into there so and then that's that extractor fan there, yeah, and that's the uh, re reversing camera. Um, so it's got these storage nets here. This one's gone a bit floppy. I think it needs the elastic replacing. Um, but, but those ones were all right. And then the shower, the shower um, hose just plugs in there. And then this, this is an auto stop hose connection. So when you um, use the uh, when you disconnect that no water will come out even if you knock this so it just keeps it uh, from flooding the back area essentially so I think that's the extent there's a there's another very deep long cupboard in there which I use to store bags and my sleeping bag and things like that um, yeah so that's pretty much the 
full tour of the van, I think. Um, not that much more uh, to talk about, really. But if you've got any more questions, feel free to send us another message or whatever. But if there's anything else you want to really see in detail on video, then feel free to let us know. Um, it's got the deadlocks all around, so that's the deadlock there. Um, and it's got those on every single door so that's just an extra little especially if you're going to park it out for a little while that's a nice feature to have to be able to put those on so all right cheers